It's a little bit complicated. It's like he always tells her daughter to go to sleep while he just keep he just keeps watching TV and then or do something after that. Today his title is oh I forgot. <laughs> The first can be your can be dessert. Yeah. Are you ready now? Right. Okay. How did you feel for your first time on the stage? Did you feel nervous? Yeah. Shaking your hand or even forgot anything you wanted to say. Toastmates of the meeting, fellow members, and most welcome guests. If you felt stressed, you're not alone. Every day, we faced lots of pressure. Every time, and even anywhere. Under pressure, we may feel nervous, we may lose our temper, and we even got killed. According to a report, the stress can cause death, like heart attack, chronic disease, and even committing suicide for about 10,000 people each year. Sounds scary, isn't it? On the other hand, if we can face up to this problem, the stress can be a strength. Just like a ball, if we don't hit it all the time, it will become flat and lose the air. If we keep hitting it, it will become inflated and stronger. And if we hit it again and again for hundreds of thousands of times with a bat, that is how Roger Federer becomes a legend. If we can keep a positive attitude towards stress. It can be a spur that helps us to focus on our target, refine ourselves, and help us to get further. When I was in branch, I don't like to market insurance. Raise your hand if you love to market insurance. I know some of you are very good at it, and your boss will love you, and your colleague will admire your contribution. But we all know it does not happen all the time. I was so annoyed by the KPI meetings, especially when it was so embarrassing that I had to talk about why I didn't make it in front of all the people in our branch. At that time, our branch was lacking in insurance, so we were left behind. One day, my boss came to me and said, Hey Mike, I noticed that you are very good at your customers, and we need more insurance to push our ranking forward. Can you do that? I was thinking, seriously? I was not so specialized in insurance. But since I got this mission, why not just take this challenge and prove myself? At first, it didn't go very well. My customer always told me that they didn't need it, and they were not interested in it. In the end, they are always too busy to pick up my phone. It's really hurt to be rejected again and again for many times. After three months, I got nothing. And I felt so stressed and depressed and I would almost give up. Fortunately, my best customer told me, you always talk about your policy. Why not just ask our boss what he needs? After that, I reflected myself. 
I changed the way I talked to them and tried to stand on their shoes. Then I found out the boss was willing to compensate the insurance fee for his salesman because his salesman needed to drive all the way in the city for business. So I grabbed this opportunity, discussed with him for several times, and talked about the detail, including how many items we could cover their insurance and how much we can pay for the education. Finally, we made a contract about 50 personal injury insurance. We helped our customers and we pushed our ranking forward. What a mutual benefit. And right now, I needed to share my accomplishments in front of all the people in my branch. Is there any stress on your mind? Change a new job? Make new people? Or even fight with something? Face the stress and turn this stumbling stock into a stepping smile that you can see the stress can be deserved if you can reverse it. Toastmaster of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs>